What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nickens Line and Landscape. So we're in one of these predicaments, typical for the winter. We're not exactly sure what's coming. So some of our apps are saying a little bit of ice, maybe a half inch of snow over the next two days. Other apps are saying quite a bit of ice and two to four inches of snow. So we really have no clue what's about to happen, but what we do know is we are gonna be salting a little bit. So I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to show you guys our new salter, show you how it's working. Uh, we'll take you along with us. I'm actually getting ready to go get it filled up right now. So we're ready when uh, early morning comes, probably be rolling out two or 3 a.m. Uh, so we're going to go get the salter filled up now so we are ready to go. We checked all the fluids and everything today on the truck and on the plow. I don't have the plow mounted up right now. Uh, I just took it off to lose the weight. But if it looks like we're going to need it in the morning, we'll definitely be pulling in the shop and hooking that bad boy up. So. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys go through this kind of stuff too where you live. If you live somewhere where the temperatures are kind of borderline typically, like right now we're working with I think a 30 degree or 31 degree temperature outside uh, and they're saying a warm up tomorrow up to like 34, 35. So it's going to be one of those things where it's right on the border. Don't really know exactly what we're going to get, but this is what we deal with a lot here in the St. Louis area. Um, a little bit east of St. Louis on the Illinois side, so um, right here in the Midwest, but this is what we deal with. Like I said, let us know down in the comments if you guys deal with this sort of thing too. But we're going to take you guys along with us. We're going to go pick up some salt and then uh, Nick's going to meet up with me at the shop very early morning and we're going to head out and show you guys what our new salt spreader can do. What, one and a half? Two? Yeah, we... guys so full load and now would be a great time to subscribe all right guys it's about 1 35 a.m. trying to be quiet if fiance sleeping but this is what time it is 1 so I got my coffee my banana my water and I'm gonna say this it is slick out there so let's head outside and see what we got going on Alright guys, like I said, it is super, super slick out here. I was trying to be quiet. Uh, the fiance's inside sleeping, but look at this. I don't know if you can tell, if you can see. Yeah, there you go. Everything's ice. All those rocks, solid ice, all that in front of the truck there, solid ice. 
all this patio. Look at this. Sliding backwards. It's all solid ice. Everything, all my my whole patio here. Solid ice, all that grass is ice. Yeah, you can see, you can really see it there. But here we go, slide down the... Time to go. You can see this bad boy. You saw our other videos, you saw it, but... If you're new, this is the Salt Dog FHPE 2000. You just got it. This is only our second time running it, so... We're gonna take you guys along with us. Next, meet me at the shop at 2, and it is, see if it'll focus here, it won't, 1.39, but let's go meet up with Nick, and we will head out and go salt some properties. Alright guys, so I drove over here uh, about 10 minutes, and it is nothing but water. There's a big blacktop lot behind you, I uh, came here to salt this one, and it's straight water, there's no ice. It's raining now, so... That is uh, the beauty of snow removal and salting. You never know what you're going to get. You drive a couple miles and everything's different. So uh, that's kind of what we're working with. There's a little patch of ice right there on the sidewalk, but it's supposed to warm up. It's 3 a.m. right now, and it's supposed to warm up 2 degrees, per are saying. So by 6, 7 a.m., it's going to be 34. I'm not salting these. And a lot of people went out and salted last night. So again, um, this is why we come out in the middle of the night, not the night before on stuff like this. Uh, we don't like to pre-salt if it's going to be floating around 32. It's kind of pointless really because you never know what's going to happen. It can snow, it can rain, it can sleet. So you just really have to kind of wait it out. Uh, one degree can play a huge factor and like I just showed you uh, whenever I was back at my house getting ready to take off that was straight ice everything was 100% ice uh, the temperature said 31 degrees I get here 15 about 15 minutes away uh, my shops about 5 from the house and this is about 10 from the shop so uh, 15 miles down the road the temperature says 32 and it's straight rain so uh, it is what it is, but I'm not going to take the customer's money, so we're going to go check one or two more, and if this is what they're all looking like, uh, I guess we're not doing anything tonight. Alright guys, fast forward uh, about an hour and a half. Nick went home. I'm out here doing a couple more sight checks just to make sure. Uh, same thing. We got a lot of water, sleep slash rain, but nothing's freezing on the ground, so... It is what it is. I'm going to go check a couple more locations, but probably not going to be spreading any salt. Uh, those of you guys interested in Strobe Life, uh, Route 1 Industries, code Nickens10, gets you 10% off. Quick plug for our strobe light, guys. If you're looking for any kind of warning lights, flashing lights, anything like that, even headlights, they've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, but the light we run on top of our truck is from Route 1 Industries. It is a Midwest Strobes mini light bar. So if you're looking for something similar to what we're running, check that out. And I'll leave a link down in the description to their website. And also, I'll leave our discount code. If you use code NICKENS10, you get 10% off. So if you're in the market for something like that, definitely hit it up. Holy crap guys, talk about a quick turnaround. One of the hotels we take care of is right behind me and uh, some of these locations are just straight ice. I'm glad I came back out to check. I just had a weird feeling and temperatures are just so close. I knew from town to town it could be different and that's exactly what's going on. So uh, I'm battling time now to try to get all these done uh, by our cutoffs, but uh, I'm gonna hit this one right now. And unfortunately I'm by myself so I'm not gonna be able to do too much filming. I wish I had the GoPro. But I don't, uh, but I wanted to bring you guys along and still just show you these conditions. Uh, you can see behind me, most of that is ice and it's actually kind of snowing or sleeting right now. So literally from one town to the next, conditions are totally different and we service four or five towns so uh, or cities. So uh, we're kind of battling the elements right now, but this is what you get when you sign up to be a snow contractor. What a crazy storm. Uh, that was about as unpredictable as it gets. It would literally be wet, no ice, and then you drive two miles and everything was ice. And that's how it was. You just go a couple miles over and it would be ice, a couple miles the other way, and it was all wet. And it would just 
kind of random as can be. It wasn't like there was a clean line and everything north was uh, ice or anything like that. It was just randomness. But we ended up getting a lot of salt out of it, uh, or a lot of saltings, I should say, out of it. I think we salted like 13 or 14 places. So I'll take it anytime I can get it. Uh, happy about that. But we are supposed to get another storm or a little something tonight. They're not really sure, again, what we're going to get. But they're saying maybe one to three. So I'm going to end this video right here and be on the lookout for the next one. We may get to do some plowing. And hopefully Nick will be with me and I can show you guys this spreader in action. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate all your support. Give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you thought and if you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one literally the whole truck is covered in ice that pretty much sums up this storm ice over there in front of the shop on the concrete no ice right here this is just wet and the whole truck's covered in ice